put them in the car. Yeah, they might fit over. So this is a quick video on why you should and should not do screen repair. Hold this real quick. Oh, I can't do Okay. And that's how the clip goes on it. We're going on a three, three week, three day trip. So we're using the little car for window cleaning today. And obviously it's the day we do or repair like 13 screens. All right, hop in. So we're preparing <coughs> these 13 screens. Uh, okay, I got it here. And the other keys. Oh man, I do not do very well in a car that I usually don't work in, but it was just one day today. So the reason you do not advertise for screen repair, can you come up with a reason? Because you have too many. It's a disaster. <laughs> Someone's like, can you come and and do this two, I, I have one screen and you're driving all over the place and it's the same reason you don't do, you limit your services and you and you have a, a residential minimum or a commercial minimum or a minimum somewhere. Um, so here's my point with that. We don't advertise screen repair. Um, even though it says it on our shirts and on our car, um, if it says it on your car or on your shirts, does it even say it on our website? Anyway, we don't do most screen repair, the, but the, so it's just a disaster having, going out to, to repair one screen or something. We're window cleaners and it's not duplicable for employees. Uh, employees can't do screen repair. They just don't do it unless it's like Austin or someone who knows how to do it. Then it's more of a subcontractor thing. So the reason not to do screen repair is just too many calls. It's just, you gotta focus your business a little bit. So it's, it's a waste of time most of the time. Okay, the reason to do screen repair, to do it and not necessarily to advertise it, is we just went to uh, one of my really good clients' house and it was a $200 job. Uh, it took us like a, an hour of window cleaning for the two of us. It's a $200 job and I ended up packing my car full of screens where we live like three exits up on the freeway maybe 15 minutes away or so and we were able to have her write a check for uh, 460 so it's $20 a screen 13 screens mesh replacement only um, but the client usually doesn't understand corners and stuff so if the corners break we repair them if the tabs break, we usually just replace those. And, um, there's your house right back there. So we're able to work two hours, no, an hour on a, on a house, took us about a, maybe an hour and 15 minutes total, and leave with $460. And then in my, around my own time, I can do these screens as a hobby, because it's really fun to do these types of screens. And, um, trying to articulate how to get your business to be a hobby uh, eventually is awesome. Like you're, you know, 65, 70 years old and you go back and do that one client's house that you've been doing for 20 years or something. And it's just for fun. You go out, then you go have lunch with your friends, go golf. And it's more of just a hobby and it's easy. There's no pressure on you and you're making money in the meantime. This is one of my hobbies is I stack the screens out there uh, every night Jesse and I cook together and we chill we put on like nice music the kids are in bed and we were able to just hang out downstairs and um, one of the things we do is like pop the table out and let's do some screen repair for fun because it's so much fun you like doing it right as long as it's a decent yeah. screen it's super easy and look I mean we're able to bond together do uh, and do a hobby I, I clean for at least two hours at night. I love cleaning, organizing stuff, and it's just what we do. We love working together, and we'll find stuff to work on. We'll create projects, and this is cool because... Gas. Oh, gas, yeah. Uh, I think we'll make it back. 21 miles? Yeah, we're fine. Yeah. If we run out of gas, at least it's with you. <laughs> yeah, that's not romantic. It's like 90 degrees out here. 
Um, so leaving a job, uh, $200 job, and the check is written for 460. That is why you do screen repair. Do screen repair. Don't let other people force you to do screen repair. Hey, come and repair my one sliding glass door screen. Well, those are 50 bucks a piece. If she had a couple of those, it would have been another $100 for uh, the two of them. So it might be a little overpriced, but it's really not. If she were to bring these down to one of the shops, it would have, it's not worth it. It would have been maybe a couple bucks cheaper and we deliver them and everything. So anyway, anything else you'd have to add for why to do screen repair and why not to do screen repair? <clears throat> Think of it now. You're on camera. Say something else. Well, okay. My wise thoughts make her. Have you ever? I'm just kidding. Have you ever gone into a video of? Because it's a very important thing. Of I think it was Mark that was telling you this. If you're gonna have multiple services, then stay in one area. But if you're gonna have um, like a few services, then you can branch out. Like, yeah. So if we do uh, mid-rise window cleaning, this is just a little. Uh, wisdom bonus for the end. We do mid-rise window cleaning up to seven stories. So I'm able to go from San Diego all the way up to San Francisco and profit almost the same. Um, so you could go to the ends of the earth with basic window cleaning. Do I do screen repair even one city over? No. If somebody in El Cajon says, hey, I have 10 screens that need to be repaired, okay, they're, they're within 10 minutes. I can go pick them up and tell them two weeks. So I make it revolve around my life. So that's a good point that Jesse made was focusing. You've got to focus. Uh, you have to focus your business somehow. So either limit your services or limit your area. Um, <clears throat> anyway, that's it. I think we're running out of video space. We are heading to Palm Springs for three days and uh, needed some extra cash. Oh yeah, you got to shake it at the end of the video. Shake it. There you go. All right, guys, heading out of the mountains back. Actually, we live right on the cusp of the mountains. This is East County, San Diego. There's Blossom Valley and El Cap Mountain. All those hills, million, million dollar homes. All those Nine hills million. are, yeah, million dollar homes, minimum pretty much. Beautiful.